Hi, I'm Peter Mary, founder of the Web Guild. And right now I'd like to talk to you about the third requirement in the category for talented spokesperson. In this requirement, we're going to be looking for at least 10 minutes of performance footage of you in action at a wedding reception. We want to see how you carry yourself on the mic at your weddings. We want to see how you speak, uh, how you're dressed, how you interact with the guest, all of the above. These are all things that are going to come into play. Now, in those 10 minutes of footage, there are a few things we're going to be requiring to see and then others that are optional for you. Number one, we definitely want to see footage of your opening statement. How do you ingratiate yourself to your audience? How do you do your opening statement that gets their attention and gets them ready for what's about to occur that evening? How do you introduce yourself to them? That's what we want to see. We want to see at least one grand entrance. Now keep in mind, your grand entrances may be different than other wedding entertainment directors. Uh, I've gained quite a reputation for doing personalized intros that kind of roast the wedding party a little bit. If you just introduce them by saying your names, that's fine, uh, as long as it showcases how you present yourself now. If you're trying to do something that you're still not quite ready to do, it might actually look, make you look worse. So showcase what you're doing well right now at whatever level in your grand entrance so we can see what you're actually currently doing. Uh, we're also going to want to see footage of at least one bouquet and garter toss interaction, how you interact with them, how you talk with them, what you say, uh, how you do the music. It gives us a good sense of how you're performing that aspect of the night. Uh, we're also going to be looking for one personalized moment and that can include but isn't limited to uh, introducing the formal toast, maybe doing a love story, uh, maybe introducing the first dance or the other special dances, maybe introducing or walking the guests through the cake cutting. But we're looking for a personalized moment where you're walking the guests through something or leading up to something so we can see once again how you're carrying yourself on the microphone. Now let me give you a couple of things that we've seen that have been problematic. Sometimes we've seen footage where uh, the applicant uh, is not dressed as formally as they need to be. Or maybe they are talking like an announcer guy and they've got that announcer voice going which doesn't really connect with the audience because it's not real. <laughs> Does that guy actually talk that way when he gets home? Hey honey, what's for dinner? No, he doesn't. So we want to see footage that showcases that you're a master of ceremonies who knows how to connect with audiences in a real, genuine, sincere, and effective manner. And if you're not sure if your footage measures up, uh, we'd encourage you to go to the wedguild.com slash community board forums where you can register for our mentor program. We can connect you with a current member who can take a look at your footage in advance and give you some honest feedback on how you're doing. Because if what they're seeing there comes across as somebody who comes across fake and maybe insincere, it will get red flagged. And you'll probably be asked to submit footage uh, post improvements from some of the feedback you're going to get. Keep in mind, what we're looking for in performances here isn't perfection. We're just looking for connection. Can you connect with your audience? Can you connect with the guests? Can you connect with the bride and groom? And is it believable? Does it make people want to feel like they're involved? If you're not able to do that, there's plenty of workshops you can take that can help you improve those areas of your service. And I would encourage you to continue to videotape yourself and work on that area until you feel like your video footage is ready for uh, inspection and review in the application process. Uh, now, if you have any questions about this particular requirement, go to wedguild.com slash community, register for the public forums that are there, and you can post any questions you have about this aspect of the application. Uh, if you have not yet done so, sign up while you're there for our mentor program so we can get you connected with a member who can walk you through the process. And if you have any questions for me directly, please feel free to email me, peter at wedguild.com.